Hello people from the future, welcome to Normalize Nerd. In this set of videos, I am showing you how you can deploy your machine learning models to the browser using Flask server and today I will show you how to get started with your very first Flask app and how to write the code for it. Now uh, before starting, uh, you should have installed this Flask module in your environment and now the question arises, what is Flask? And I'm assuming that you have no previous experience of Flask, so this tutorial video will be really easy to follow along. So a Flask is a Python based micro framework which allows us to write the code for backend for our applications in a really easy manner. Now how it is, how the backend is written in Flask is by the concept of routing. Routing is the way to handle the requests from the user end. Suppose, uh, now let me uh, give an example, it will be more clear how routing works. Uh, suppose we have a website uh, named abc.com. Now by default, say the URL is www.abc.com. Now uh, the programmers of this website may append or may have designed a route, uh, let's say home. So if we write www.abc.com slash home the application will direct us to a page which will contain the information that occurs in a home page now similarly uh, by replacing home they, they may have just write help so we will get directed to a page which contains the information about help now similarly in our application also we are going to have some routes so how to create routes in flask app you can see here is the line is app dot route in the parenthesis we have a slash now in this slash uh, now a single slash basically means the default URL now we may change this like that. we may have like this thing now uh, to begin with I will be just writing one single slash and just below it we can define a function now in this case I have defined a function uh, welcome. Oh, I have misspelled it. <laughs> Sorry for that. Now, now say I have a function welcome. So what it will actually do is whenever our default URL, whenever we are going to put our default URL in the browser, it will just call this function and this function will get executed. And what this function does is actually returns a string, which is a welcome. So if I have done this code correctly, uh, if I open the browser uh, and if I start a Flask app and go to the browser, I will see this thing. Now another important part, how to initialize a Flask app. This is the line where the initialization is done. So what we need to do, we need to just uh, name our app, which I have named here app only. Now after an equal sign, we just have to start this flask in the parenthesis double underscore name double underscore and close parenthesis so this is the code for a very simple flask application now we're going to start our flask server so how to do that now to do that there is a couple of ways available first i am going to show you how you can start your flask server from command prompt now what you need to do you just need to go to the directory where you have saved your app code so this is my app code and I have to start this command prompt from this directory. So uh, let me just write cmd. By the way, if you just type cmd and press enter, the command prompt will start from this directory. Now uh, see what I am typing here and this is the exact thing you need to type. Uh, so for Windows, for uh, Windows command prompt to start a Flask app, to start a Flask server, uh, you just need to write set. Uh, in cap flask underscore app equals now you just need to uh, input the file name uh, where you have where the code is saved so basically I just need to write this name app.py dot py now I just need to run the command lask run sorry I have uh, mistyped it fla SK. Uh, so it's saying that our app is running on HTTP in this URL. So I just need to copy this URL and paste it in our browser. 
so to copy it the shortcut is a uh, control plus insert so i will just go to my browser and uh, input my url so voila you just see we have just created a simple sas cap which just says welcome so now i'm going to show you how you can start your flask server from from a uh, git terminal so let me just close this thing for now and if i just refresh now uh, it won't show us anything because i have closed my flux server so now i'm going to uh, start my flux server from git terminal okay so uh, to do that you need just need to go to your directory where you have saved your code now uh, open git bash from here Now here the command is a little bit different, but not that much different. You just need to write here export. Now the same thing flsk flask underscore app equal to app uh, dot pi. Now again the same command flsk uh, run. Now here we should see the same thing. Now again I'm copying it uh, by the command control plus insert. Uh, now I'm just going to use my browser and paste it and see uh, this is working really fine okay so this was a really basic app but now I want to add a previously written HTML page to our route so let me just uh, go to my code section so what I want to do is instead of returning just this welcome string I want to return a complete web page that I have previously written in HTML so let me just quickly write a HTML code and let's just try to attach it in the return. Okay, so uh, let me just create a HTML5 file quickly. I'll just name it index.html. Okay, so I am just going to add a simple uh, h1 tag. So I have created my HTML file. Now I just need to use this render template function. Okay, so render template. Let me save it, and now I'm going to restart my server again. Okay, so my app is running. Let me just go here refresh it okay so now we have got an error so to apply this render template function we need to follow a certain rule so what is that rule uh, so the flush documentation says that if you are going to use the render template function you need to put the HTML file in a special folder and the folder name should be template so we are going to make a templates folder here in that template folder I need to put my index.html file okay so I have just cut the file and just pasting it here okay I just pasted it so now I am again going to restart my uh, server okay now okay, so my server is running now if I go here and see uh, so what we have just done uh, we have just uh, returned a HTML file that we have created separately so uh, in that HTML file I can add anything and by just calling this function here I can just render this thing it's as simple as that so that was all for this video so what we have done uh, I have just showed you how you can start your very first flask cap and how you can render html templates by this render template function so in the later videos i will be showing you how you can attach the machine learning things to our flask server and how i make the ui so if you are feeling a little bit more enthusiastic about machine learning and creative coding then please like and share this video and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thanks for watching Thank you.